July 23, 2012, the sun explodes in a fury bigger than a trillion nukes, hurling a killer storm straight at Earth's orbit. We're talking power grid fried satellites zapped, civilization on its knees and it missed us by days. Welcome to Celestial Wonders with this 10-minute roller coaster dives into a cosmic dance that saved billions. Wild science, heart-stopping stakes and secrets NASA's still unraveling. Will we luck out next time? You're not blinking till we find out. Hit subscribe and let's ride this solar wave. And set the scene. Solar cycle 24, the sun's 11 year mood swing is peaking. Sunspot AR 1520, bigger than Earth goes berserk. July 23, 2012, a 2013 space weather study calls it a beast. An X-class flare followed by a coronal mass ejection, CME, a billion ton plasma cloud screaming at 3300 kilometers per second fastest ever. It crosses Earth's orbit in 20 hours, says NASA's Daniel Baker, Carrington level power. If it hit $2 trillion and damaged 20 Katrinas, but plot twist it misses by 9 days Earth's orbit just out of range. A CME's no joke. A 2019 geophysical research letter study breaks it down. These plasma monsters slam Earth's magnetosphere, sparking geomagnetic storms. In 2012 they did fry transformers. Think Rebecca's 1989 blackout 6 million dark but global. Satellites, 10% of 10,000 zapped per a 2021 space weather estimate. GPS, internet, radio gone. A 2013 Lloyd's report pegs U.S. costs at $600 billion to $2.6 trillion. Years to rebuild. Auroras, stunning, sure, seen in Cuba, but astronauts' radiation poisoning risk, we were that close. Picture this. 2012 wood tech junkies, smartphones, satellites, grids are lifeblood. A 2017 Nature Communications study says a Carrington class hit would have crashed banks, hospitals, food chains, no ATMs, no ventilators, no fridges. NASA's Stereo A satellite hit square on survived gave us data says a 2020 solar physics paper. Scientists like Ying Liu warned recovery would take 4 to 10 years. Imagine no internet for a decade. Emotionally, panic loss, families cut off, lives upended, we were blind trusting the sun wouldn't betray us. Here's a wild one, why was the solar storm in 2012 so fast? Well, according to a 2018 study in the Astrophysical Journal, here's the deal. A smaller coronal mass ejection or CME on July 19th cleared out the solar wind kind of like a snowplow. This paved the way for the big one to zip through space at a staggering 3,300 kilometers per second. That's four times the usual speed. NASA's Ying Liu calls it rare. Something we haven't seen since the Carrington event in 1859 when telegraph wires actually caught fire. The Stereo A spacecraft recorded the storm reaching Earth's orbit in just 20 hours. Normally CMEs take days to get here. If that storm had been aimed directly at us we'd have had at most 12 hours of warning that's it. The sun's sneaky teamwork with its smaller flare nearly gave us a cosmic close call.
The sun, it's always been a bit of a frenemy, hasn't it? The ancient Mayans worshipped it, believing solar flares were signs of the gods' wrath. Fast forward to 1859's Carrington event, when auroras lit up the skies as far south as Cuba, and telegraph systems sparked fires. People didn't know what to think and panic spread. This is all documented in the 2022 History of Science archives. And today we're still obsessed. In May of 2024, solar storms created auroras over Puerto Rico, lighting up social media with 10 million Instagram posts. Scientists like Noah's Mark Misch keep a close eye on the sun. In 2023, an X2 aped solar flare caused radio blackouts, just one more reminder of the sun's unpredictable power. You know, it's a bit like how Embera hunters view poisonous frogs, something to respect, something to fear. The sun is more than just a star. It's a story, a force, and sometimes a threat. Get this, trees snitched on the sun. A 2021 Nature Geoscience study found carbon-14 spikes in tree rings, 775 AD 20 times worse than 2012. Ice cores beryllium-10 back it up, says a 2020 BNAS paper. These Miyake events hit every 500 years. 7176 BC was double 775. If 2012 was close, these were apocalyptic. Ten times the Carrington event. Scientists now hunt fossilized forests. 2023 Greenland cores hint at new spikes. The sun's been exploding forever, Earth's just been lucky. Two thousand twelve was a warning. Solar cycle twenty five is peaking now. July two thousand twenty five. A two thousand twenty four space weather study says X flares. March two thousand twenty five's X one one hit monthly. NOAA's new CC four one coronagraph launched two thousand twenty four spots CMEs. Barely thirty minutes heads up. A 2023 New Yorker piece warns, one hit could cost $12 trillion globally. Grids down, satellites out, years dark. ESA's vigil set for 2031 might give days notice, but we're exposed. Emotionally, fear, our tech, our lives hang by a thread. We can fight back. NOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, 2024 budget $50 million, tracks flares. Donate $10 to STEM, spark a kid's science love. Support ESA's vigil, $500 million for early warnings. At home, surge protectors, backup power, small steps, share this video, spread the word. 2012's dodge was luck. Let's build resilience, save our grid, our way of life. July 2012, the sun roared, Earth danced away, a trillion ton storm, a nine day miss, a wake up call. From tree rings to NASA's eyes, we know the sun's wild, gorgeous, deadly alive. Its flares shaped history, our fear, our fight. Next time you see a sunset, feel the stakes. We're one spark from chaos, one plan from survival. This is celestial wonders, where cosmic truths burn bright.